okay, so next we're going to do garbanzo beans. And I'm going to give you a real close-up. Oh, my goodness. Of the garbanzo beans, okay? See? They're organic in the very least. I will show you the paper at the end on another video as to the full description of it and where it came from. I bought it as wholesale. So now I have a cup here with vinegar and I'm gonna wipe down these buckets and let them dry, the buckets and the lids, okay? And let them dry. Um, Now this has a little flower, so let me just, this is from me, uh, I was working on the flower. And guess what? I'm not letting anything go to waste. So I'm gonna just pour it in here because this is scrap flour and I could, you know, from when I was bagging. Cause you know what? I'm gonna make something out of this. I'm gonna learn how to use millet and I gotta figure out what was the first item that I packaged. I will find the labels at some point. So to continue, I will, this is probably, I'm going to have to do this twice because there are like grains of the flour here, which is not really dirt anyway. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put bay leaves and absorbies to keep the bugs out. Okay. So maybe in these buckets, I, I probably will use a bag. That's what I'm starting to think, to use a bag. Maybe, I mean, the, 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 this is going to take at least two buckets full of chickpeas, maybe more. And what I'll do is I'll put some chickpeas in canisters so that way I could also start using them and testing them. Okay. So this one was already cleaned. I cleaned a lot of stuff when I first got these things. They were like horrendous. They really needed a lot of cleaning when I first got them. Okay, so now I'm going to let them dry. And what was in here? Cherry filling. That's what it was. Cherry filling. I got this from the supermarket instead of ordering stuff from online. Okay. So I'm let it sit there for a minute and then I'm going to start pouring. Okay, so now I'm going to try something different because these are commercial grade bags that it came in. I'm going to see if I could reuse them. And then eventually I'm probably, I'm, I'm definitely going to air back, back and seal them. But I'm just experimenting because a lot of people keep the buckets, food in the buckets like this for years and nothing goes wrong. Okay, so should I put air absorbers, right? So, I may get tied up, right? Too busy to do the other stuff. So here we go. Let me keep it under control here, right? These are garbanzos. And I gotta find out if they sprouted, I mean. How do you, how could you tell the difference by the look? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So that took, oops, dropped just a couple of them. I did really good, really good there. Oh, I forgot, did I put, I have to look at the film, Let's see if I had any of these in here. And, uh, boop, 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 boop. Where are the absorbers right here? I don't, again, I'm not sure what the condition of these absorbers but it hurt. Gotta keep them sealed at all times. But it's not making tax seal, so. So what I'll probably do now is, so I could get to, I could actually put a little bit more in here. And here we go. Enough for that. Okay. 
So I'm thinking that for now, and probably for a good while, I probably can get away with just leaving this like this. And uh, this is not moist, it's not sweet. So I can put an absorb an absorbing. Already put one on there. This is a big bucket, so I don't know how to measure them. Some people do have the measurements. But if there's no air, then it be absorbing. Okay. So what I can do is I could I could tie it for the tie. Okay. Yeah. It's better than just in the bucket. Okay, so I'm going to put a, a, a zip tie. Let's see how, how well this works. This is, this is not really the best quality one. I have more, but... Great, I have a, that's really weird, this stapler, staple stuck on that. So, I'm going to cut this bag, but before I do, I probably, I'm still going to leave some leverage there, so that way if I open it at some point, let me see, put it in through here tied as much as I can. Do I have it in the right place? No, I guess not, huh? I guess I'm supposed to use... I think it's supposed to be the other way around. Oh, crying out loud. Okay. So, there we go. We got a zip tie. And uh, I'm not going to cut it because, what the heck, I could probably reuse it. I, I'm a big fan of reusing things, right? Um, I think maybe I could keep this like this and put the lid on. I'm not sure. Why, why destroy the back? Because if I cut it, I don't think I'm going to have much use for it. It's not going to be giving me that much leverage that I can make another bag. So, I'm going to go get my lid. Sure, which one is the good one? So, this is a little better condition than the way it was. And the bag's got absorbies. Let me see. Is this good with this? Oh, this is good with this. I think it's either one. Okay, this goes up here. See where there's an opening so you could start grabbing. Okay. So it's very possible that, uh, oh boy, it's starting to fall. Look at that. If I wouldn't let it fall, I'd be in big trouble because it would spill all over, all over the room. It's not what I want. It's definitely not what I want. Okay, so I got to keep my eye on that thing because at some point it will roll if I leave it unattended. Okay. Let's see if I could do this. With the bag in it. All right, so I'm just gonna cut the bag. Then. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it to the extent that I could still reuse it. How's that? Does that sound fair? I didn't want to destroy it. Well, it did serve its delivery purpose. I'm just trying to salvage it. Hopefully, the bump will be, won't be too big that I can't, quote, put the lid on it. How does that sound? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Cut to size. Nice. Doesn't it look nice? Let me see. Am I capturing this? So there you go. There's the food. It could be packaged like that for a long time. Uh, at some point, or when I get my baggies, maybe if I get bored, because I have a lot of packaging to do, this could at least withstand a little more time. Oh, boy. There's the hammer. 
Let me see. Oh boy. Is it too full? So I left a little space, right? Yep, I got my pajamas on. Deal with it. Okay. So I really could leave it like this if I want to. I don't need to take it out and paper tag it. And I kind of do need to start using. Oh boy, this thing really isn't. going on here. Hmm, it doesn't want to seal, huh? It's quite interesting. It does not want to seal. It's too full, huh? I'm not going to mess with it. It is what it is. I may just want to tape it. I'll keep it like this and put another bucket on top of it. The weight of it's gonna keep it. Well, I could keep it from making it slide too. Let me, Let me see if I can take this one. Yep, this was the right one. There we go. Okay, so now we did garbanzo bean bag number one. And it would be nice if I could pour it. That's okay. Okay. I don't need a bag for it. It's all good. And here we go. Okay. Now there's enough here to fill up a few jugs, or at least one jug, probably, from the looks of it. From the looks of it. Oh. Okay. Do I want to fill things up to capacity? I'm not sure I do. Okay. These are organic garbanzo beans, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know these again. It's probably going to do any good. But it won't hurt. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, as long as. I really think that belongs to the other one. But I think they're universal anyway. This is nice and tight here. Okay? This is a very good lid. So now we did the garbanzo beans, and I am going to put some garbanzo beans here. Here's my jumbo C8 MC3. Why not? I think that I could finish this off by pouring this in here. So I don't need a funnel. Anymore. Just doesn't want to give way anymore, huh? So let me just open up another spot. It is okay. We need a little funnel. And you don't even have a mess. You do it right. Look at that. Very few got bouncers going around the place. Very, very few. That's a very clean job, if you ask me. So, let's put 
some of these in, which is more than plenty. Keep it safe. And this didn't even fill up the jug. See? Didn't even. Did not eat it. All right. So what do you think, folks? Okay, so now it's time to label them. Get the camera a little closer so you can see both. See both, right? Okay, so I just labeled that one right there. Uh, these labels are really for the big containers. Okay, let me put this here. Go bounce, I put the date, I put that it's organic. And I'm going to put this over here, put the yellow signs just like this, if you could see it. Doesn't have to be a fancy label. I used to do the printout ones, but my printer stopped working. And it's not necessary anyway. So I'm picking up the little garbanzo beans that fell on the floor. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm done with the packaging for the garbanzo beans. Okay, one of them has plastic in it, the other one does not, uh, but it has all the other components. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. I hope you, you're encouraged to do the same as I am, buying in bulk and repackaging, and saving containers like this rather than tossing it. They become useful for such a time as this. Have a great day.